In this video, we're going to ask, what are we made of, and how did we get that way? We're certainly made of molecules, but to understand what we're made of, we really need to review atomic elements and what, how atomic elements combine into organic molecules. For the second half of that question, how did we get that way, we need to understand the principles of electronegativity to understand how different elements combine to form chemical bonds. In the first question, what are we made of? If we took a human being and just split a human being into all of its component atoms, this is what we would find. We would find that the uh, most abundant elements in the human body are oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. And then there's a bunch of other elements that are in much lower quantities. Now the abundance of oxygen and hydrogen makes sense because we're mostly water. But what you'll note is that if you take out the water, carbon is the most abundant element. And so if we uh, list these elements by their uh, symbols, we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and a little bit further down, sulfur. What you'll note about these elements that I've listed here is that all of these five elements, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur, they all form bonds, or they combine, with carbon. And so these six elements comprise what we call organic molecules. These other elements, such as calcium, potassium, chlorine, and sodium, yeah, these are all elements that do not form uh, bonds with carbon. They don't combine uh, with carbon to form organic molecules. And these are present in our body as ions or minerals. So if you look at carbon and the other five elements, in organic molecules and we ask well do they result simply from the most abundant elements in the environment combining and that's certainly not the case because we can see that the element the abundance of carbon in ocean water is very very small and it's not really all that much more abundant in the earth's crust so if we postulate that life originated in the ocean, as it almost certainly did, yeah. uh, if, and we look at carbon and the other elements that it combines with, other than hydrogen and oxygen, there just isn't a lot of either nitrogen or phosphorus um, or sulfur around in the ocean water. What this implies is that carbon has a special ability to combine with these other elements.